Good evening, and welcome back to another episode of Once Upon a Witchlight. We would absolutely love it if you could like this video, subscribe to our channel, and check that bell so you never miss an episode. And while you're doing that, I'm going to read some comments from last week. <clears throat> Quote number one. When Kremi rolls his dice and Rich starts explaining the swamp that envelopes them, that is one of the most epic moments of putting yourself into the game. Richie describes it so well and paints this picture that the others are just beholding. A true DM moment of understanding in the world that we've created. Whoa, that was an eloquent comment Aww. for you two. Very good. Number two. <laughs> I love you all so much. You're actually the ones who are making me get into D&D. &D. You're all nice. so wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Have fun with D&D. &D. Number three. For some reason, seeing Mikey shove tiny plastic bananas in his mouth is very funny to me. <laughs> and number four, I put, I put this one in there because I also want to know, what happens if Gideon activates all of his gears? We need to know. Oh. oh. And how many gears do you have? Roll that beautiful bean footage, Rich. Hungry woods, reaching high. Snatch the light out from the sky Leafy sighs Creaking bones Pray you don't get found alone Crickly crack the branches pop It grows the night that never stops The tree that leans with twisted grin Her limbs are thrown, her soul is sin Underneath the crooked moon Stalks the king of cloven hoof In pale decay and empty gloom He comes for you Heat is cold. He carries six of sword and seal. Once wayward souls the fall and kneel. You are standing beneath the boughs of the trees and thither. You are exhausted from the trek out of the mountain, your pockets laden with coin, over 300,000 pieces of gold, more than enough to pay back Remy Guru, return home to the material plane to Avantris proper, and move on with your lives should you choose to. Your feet find purchase on the mossy, uh, leaf-scattered ground, and it is soft and comfortable as you make the trek back to where you had left your new owlbear friend, Juniper, Hootsie, and the cart. <clears throat> and as you reach the, what is now more like a caravan, you notice movement behind you as the light shines in front of you from the sun that is still fairly high in the sky and your shadows move, but not with you. 
They dance as they form their own shapes. Kremi, you notice yours first, as you are acutely aware of your shadow, <laughs> having an ability and an affinity for your shadow. And this does not look like you or any shadow you've ever had before. And as the shadow begins to form, it begins to take on an image of a bullywug. Same clothes, the same silhouette of one Pierre that you knew from feels like very, very long ago. The image of his face looking up at you as he gasps for his last breath. And you see as the shadow takes its index finger and slides it across its throat as it stares out at you menacingly, but it makes no sound. And you feel exhausted. You take one level of exhaustion. Oh, Damn. No. So it's gonna be Gideon, oh. you see Kremi as he slumps over, almost as if the wind has been knocked out of him as he's staring towards his shadow, and you realize that his shadow is not his own. Oh there, buddy. Is <clears throat> yours begins to mingle with his. But where there should be <clears throat> one shadow, there are four. So you see the shadows of what clearly are a band of clowns. A veritable clown car's worth of clowns. You see the form of Chuckles uh, leading. Will you stop it? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you, you see Chuckles taking the lead as he's leading the rest in a strange dance as Chuckles, Klutzy, Bumbo, and Thacko all make their way around the, um, the, uh, the shadow of Pierre and begin to move in this strange clown-like dance. And they all look towards you as they tower over Pierre, and all of them in unison pull back their arms and punch towards the air directly at you, and you feel, even though they're nowhere close to you, you feel the collision with your stomach as you double over, taking <coughs> one level of exhaustion. Well, fuck. So I already have a level of exhaustion. Now. That's that's the one. Same. That's the one. Okay. I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm just reminding you because most of you probably did not take your oh, level okay. of exhaustion. If I had so we're not at two levels of exhaustion. You're at one level of exhaustion. For now. Is, uh, is the, they do uh, not speak. Is the bully, <laughs> no. is the bullywug court jester there? The no. five. Oh. 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 It's just four. Hmm. So I was saying as well. His soul is still doing the thing. Yeah. 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 It's still getting there. It's tadpoling. <laughs> yeah. It's in the waiting room and clown <clears throat> hell. You double over in pain. And Torbeck, you you watch <coughs> this almost in uh almost in uh in horror as you see the way that all of these shadows are moving, the way that Kremi and Gideon two people that you have known to be so strong in the face of all of this are doubled over by the mere <laughs> image of <laughs> these <laughs> shadows <laughs> as you immediately see darkness rocket across one side, directly in front of you, behind you, around you. As it spins around and around you, you start to get dizzy as you look this way and that before it finally stops for just a second. And you see the image of Agden Longscarf. His scarf wrapped around you, almost choking you, the shadowy scarf. As he darts in another direction, completely Knocking your legs. Mike, will you stop? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done, I promise. Thank you. Uh, completely <laughs> knocking your legs out from under you as you land on your back, the air knocked out of your body as you take one level of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> Gricko, you watch as. Torbeck falls on his back. Gideon is doubled over in pain, and uh, Kremi is um, reeling from some uh, psychic pain that has overcome all of them. As you feel your shadow loom over you, much larger than a shadow should be, and as you turn to look, 
you see Uncle Glorbo. Oh, shit. Exactly as you had been afraid he would be. No one knows what truly happened to Uncle Glorbo. He was very unclear. But you know. Deep in your heart, you know. And no amount of trying to pretend is going to change what's happening now as Uncle Glorbo looms over you, his face angry, as you feel fear well up in you and you run straight forward, slamming face first into a tree, and you feel all of the air <laughs> knocked out of you as you take one level of exhaustion. <laughs> I'm fucking somersaulting, I'm rolling down a hill. Nephew. <laughs> Frost, you watch all of this in almost a peaceful contemplation as the intelligence that you that you have uh, allows you to almost slow things down while you try to understand the situation. As you look to your side and a shadow nods at you, almost in agreement, you nod back and you look to the other side and you nod at that one and then you realize, oh wait, those are shadows on the other side, not people I know. Those are the shadows of two guards, bite marks on their neck, blood oh, no. dripping down um, uh, the front of their uniforms as they look down at you in anger, in pain, in horror, in resentment. And both of them, at the same time, directly lunge towards you. You feel their shadows collide with you and you feel all of the air knocked out of your body as you take one level of exhaustion. <laughs> And then these shadows stand behind you, tethered to you, so far saying nothing, so far just following, watching. <clears throat> Occasionally you'll see them move or make strange motions. You see them out of the corner of your eye and all of them are threatening and, and menacing in some way, but all of them seem to be waiting. For what? It's hard to tell but they wait and they watch. Oh my God, Beer. <clears throat> Did somebody put you up to this? <clears throat> Was it Guru? Look, I'm sorry, man. I, I fucking had to, right? You, you, you gave me no choice, all right? I wait for him to respond. You get nothing. <laughs> and I'm just like I'm just fighting every like hill and I'm just I'm just rolling down at like the opening of Kung Pao out of the face of the little baby who keeps rolling and then comes to stop and then I keep rolling down and comes to stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't think I would see you again. Uh, Please know that that was not me. You do not need to take any vengeance. Everything is fine. If you have anyone to uh, haunt, it should be whatever that curse uh, origin was. Not myself, certainly. I don't take responsibility for it. You can go. You can go now. Please, please leave. Thank you. No, no, that, you're not leaving. You can go. I, I assure you that uh, I bear no responsibility in your deaths. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's you just stand there then that's fine I don't mind that's fine they I'll, move closer to you tower I'll, over you I'll just start uh, walking uh, Grigo Grigo I'm walking uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> what's happened to you do I see the shadows also uh, of uh, yeah you I can see everybody's shadows Grigo there it is Stop Stop rolling around. We, we need to figure something out. I start jogging a little faster as I see the shadows getting closer and closer to me. Grigo, stop freaking out. <laughs> now is not the time to freak out. I just did this Ned tree and fall down. And I, I, I stop. Now I'm like climbing. <laughs> I ring goes live. <laughs> I'm just running after Gricko. I'm filled with existential threat. Yeah. <laughs> Why is Kitty looking at Torment? Torment didn't do anything! Torment doesn't deserve this! 
I wasn't looking at you, man. I was looking at all these stupid fucking clowns surrounding me again. You kill them once. Well, that one once, that one once, that one three times, that one once. But that one was from a fucking felt allergy, man. I mean, I hit him with a sock puppet. This is bullshit. I hate clowns. I hate the Feywild. Uh. I mean, I think... Maybe it's not real. Like, like, man, that's not really Pierre. Maybe they're just looking into our minds and pulling stuff out of it. Maybe it's just figments of our own imagination, fellas. What do you think? They're very persistent parts of our imagination, I say, as I, like, run past you and continue around. <laughs> <in the circle. laughs> I, I don't get a good feeling about it, though. I feel like Pierre's looking at me, just waiting. Waiting for the right moment. I don't, I don't know what that moment is, but... I feel awfully tired with him being tethered to me like this. I feel the same. Yeah, me too. I'm also very uh, aware that they haven't touched me yet, and I don't want that to happen either. <laughs> <laughs> I will have fallen down, and somehow I've leaned back around. <laughs> and as I'm falling back and rolling down, we have to go back to the cave! Oh, blah, 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 blah. We have to give all the gold back. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're in a half pipe of hills. Yep. You're yep. Just, <laughs> <doing that. laughs> you just roll just enough to go off one and then back. Yeah. What, do you, what, what do you mean, Gregor? We have to give the gold back. We've been gold cursed. Oh, we should have known. Oh, we should have known the exact same thing that happened and it would happen to us. Oh, 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 oh. We've been gold cursed. That actually makes some sense. That's amazing. Is that? Is that Uncle Globo, Rico? Ah! Oh, As you were saying this, both of the guards lunge towards you, and you mm. feel uh, shadowy. Um, you, you feel their shadowy um, teeth pierce into your neck. You take uh, two uh. points of damage, piercing damage. Ten. Two. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, they can hurt you. They can hurt you if they touch you. They can hurt you. They hurt you very much if they touch you. This, this is not pleasant. I start to speed up. Uh, Torbeck is not attempting to outrun Agden at all because he knows that he can't. So Torbeck is like completely like balled up on the ground, like covering his hand, his head with his hands, and just like. Oh, no, 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 no! We have to fix this. Yeah, we cool. You like, I think you would have done the same thing in my situation, right? Like, if the roles were reversed, you would have snuck up behind me and cut my throat, right? Right? <laughs> Are we cool? <laughs> I want to I wanna see if he is getting closer to me at, at all. Or is he, is he just standing there? He occasionally moves towards you. He's None of them are standing still. They're all acting the way that they would have in life. Um, the clowns are all performing their own little um, clown act together. Um, occasionally, um, occasionally, one will step forward and do something menacing or threatening towards Gideon. Um, but so far, <laughs> but so far, none of them have, outside of the ones that have attacked Frost so far, none of them have made any move to harm you in any way. Um, but none of them are motionless. Quit making obscene gestures at me, <laughs> Chuckles. Fuck you, man. Oh, God. So, somehow it's better when he can talk, you know? Two, both of his hands are removed from his fist and spin around him, <laughs> flipping you off. Um, I when Once they bite Frost, uh, I'm going to endeavor to fight back. Uh, I would turn to the closest of the guards that's now like chasing me at a good pace at perhaps a jog mm -hmm. and I will try to cast Mind Sliver. I'll reach out mm -hmm. and I will attempt Ooh. to crun crunch something the way that I crushed a small uh, beast, okay. a woodland beast uh, not a few hours ago. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> oh, uh, it, they need to make, uh, it needs to make a intelligence saving throw. Roll an intelligence saving throw for me please. Okay. Just one moment. Uh, I don't know why you would make me do that. A disadvantage. Oh, uh, yeah. Dread. No, no, that makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. Oh, I know what's happening. Uh, I get a uh, six. Okay. So how does how does mind work? There? Oh well, if uh, someone fails a saving throw, uh, then they take one d six psychic damage and they subtract one d four from their next saving throw. You take a uh, d six and you're gonna take a minus four from your next saving throw. Okay, okay. We'll take damage, right? Is the d six is yeah. He, he took six damage, damage and then his saving throw will be negative four. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> that hurts. 
<laughs> What'd you do, man? I didn't try, tried to uh, reach into one of the guards' minds to crush it, and it, uh, it was some sort of reflection or, or, or mirror attack. It's, oh, good. good. No, is no, this no, what no. this feels like? It's I'll, awful. I'll skid to a stop. <laughs> uh, oh, it's like... It's like when you eat a, uh, a sea cucumber rubber rectangle trousers oh, popsicle yeah. too quickly. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, that's exactly I'm what this feels like. Just, I'm just not gonna look, I'm just not gonna look at it. It can't hurt me, it can't hurt me. Grummy, you're the shadow guy, man. What, you know how to kill them or hurt them or like, what the, what the hell do we do about these ghosts? Well, no, I mean, that's the thing. How do you kill a shadow? That's why it's so fucking powerful. Just send him away and say goodbye, and say hello, goodbye, Uncle Global. I'm sorry you couldn't pay your debts. No, I mean, it's not real. It's not like you, you can attack it. You start to speak, and you immediately feel your lungs fill with water, and you, you feel yourself choking. It's not water, but blood that's caught in your throat. As you feel yourself choking, as you begin to suffocate. Grammy, Grammy, man, spit it out. Spit it out, what's happening to you? Put it out. Hey, man! Hey! Hey! Oh, I'm licking! Come on! I'm licking! Oh. I'm licking! Oh. I'm licking! Oh. 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 Punch him in the lungs! Punch him in the lungs! Get it out! Punch him in the lungs! Get it out! Punch him in the lungs! Oh. Oh. Look, turn quick! You take one point of damage oh. as the choking sensation fades away. Oh. You, look, you look back towards Pierre, and once again, he raises his small, um, his small bullywug arm and he runs his index finger along his throat. Jesus. Oh, no, no. Is that what that feels like? We we have to fix this. I'm just going to go in his his filthy sack and pull out the bloody Uh, scarf. You attempt to, and as you do, Agden Longscarf runs up behind you, jumps into the air, and slams right into the back of your knees. You fall over prone, taking two points of damage. No, Torbeck was just getting your scar. <laughs> Torbeck is sorry. Please, Agden, go away. I'm, a, I'm going to, uh, as I'm just scraping, scrambling at my feet, I'm going to say, Nib, Nib, help us. Help us, Nib. We saw all you go. We saw all you go. We've learned our lesson. I've learned our lesson. This, 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 I've learned from this Stop. parable. Quiet, quiet. This quiet. fable. It, 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 we don't know if it's the gold. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, what Frosty said, man. We don't know it's the gold. We need more evidence. Besides, I think I have a solution. If uh, it hurts us to attack them, I cast Mind Sliver on myself. <laughs> <laughs> I make an intelligent saving throw. At disadvantage? I, at disadvantage. Yeah. I fail. Oh, my God. I take six points of... Yes, you do. Oh, uh, and I should have subtracted 1d4 from my... Oh, yeah, yeah, my, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I take six points more of psychic damage. I think. Unless, and you take a d4. Them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I've subtracted the d4 from yeah, my Yeah, but you need from. to subtract, you need to roll another d4 because your next one will also be Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that d4. for sure. Um, oh, do, I, cool. do I damage the shadow or do I hurt myself? You hurt yourself. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's not the solution at all. No, the point is, is that it, this isn't real, right? These... Like I said, these are just figments of our imagination. Somehow. It feels very real to me, Grimmy. He kicks Torbeck in the knee! <laughs> Do I see blood Gideon, like running from I need your roll wisdom saving throw for me, please. A disadvantage. <laughs> That'd be a three. What a natural one. You, you lean in to listen to the conversation as... Chuckles pushes you backwards, and all of the clowns. Hey, don't fucking touch me, man! And all of the clowns begin to perform a a strange uh, circus routine for you. There's nothing funny about this, and yet you can't stop laughing as you feel the effects of Tasha's hideous laughter come over you. <laughs> this is the and worst you, show I've ever been to. You, you fall, you say. fall prone, <laughs> laughing louder and louder and louder. And with every laugh, Chuckles gets bigger and bigger and bigger as he feeds off of your laughter. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I'm in the fucking clowns. Oh god. Oh god. Look, if it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God! Oh, Do something! I'm so lucky! I want to Elders Blast. Uh, I'll do Klutzy and Chuckles in the face as the two beams of Elders Blast will shoot out to them. You you 
Or doing what? I'm Eldritch Blasting Chuckles and Klutzy. Okay, go ahead. Uh, t- they're both 20 something. <laughs> uh, what's, what's your, well, no, that would hit, yeah. Yeah, that would hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hits. <clears throat> Uh, 23 points of damage. <gasps> you take 23 points of damage. Oh my gosh. Gideon. Um, no, you do. Oh, um, you um, get to roll so two yeah, wisdom so saving yeah. throws. Uh, uh, and uh, your advantage on both of them because oh. uh, you just took damage. See? I'm thinking ahead. Big money. Oh, yeah. no. First is a twenty-two. You are able to shake off the effects of Tasha's. Uh, did you did you roll at disadvantage for those because uh, he was prone? And I did not. Out of it? Oh. The first one would have hit. Yeah. So you still would have shaken it off, but it might not be twenty-three nice. damage. Only a seven. Your AC seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. So I would. Hit yeah. Okay. Yeah. You take twenty-three damage, but you are no Sorry. longer laughing uncontrollably. Uh, the second wisdom saving throw, I believe, would have been 14. But you, the first one, you got a 20. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you, oh, you shake it off. Oh, I got you out there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you all right? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing? That was terrible, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. Look, look. Who oh, came oh, over I me, man? I didn't even like that a little bit. I know, I know. Look, look. But, I mean, it got you to stop, right? <sighs> Oh, you dumb bastard. I know the problem here is Frosty's doesn't hit hard enough. Here we go! (laughs) Boom, boom! I ignite my fists in flame and fire, uh, and I lunge at just all the the clowns. Ah! Uh, Targeting for Chuckles, and I try him. Okay, roll to attack. Um, Chuckles will have the shadow popcorn bucket, and he uh, squeezes like a Popeye uh, spinach can. (laughs) <laughs> and his arms get huge, and he uh, will go after. 17. Uh, yeah, that hits. That hits Chuckles? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Is he 17? Yep. Definitely pour everything Definitely in Definitely 17. <laughs> I action surge. Yeah, do it. Ah, one. Ah, one, yeah. Nine points of damage. And that's with your action surge? No, I don't know action surge. Okay. You take good. nine points of damage on top of the 23 you just took? No, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> however, <laughs> however, uh, th- my my fists cast light in a, in a, I don't know, a 10 foot radius uh-huh. or something. Oh. Is, is that relevant at all? Or does that seem to diminish the shadowy effect of these shadows? No. Wow, okay. <clears throat> Uh, the light shines through them. It's it's very pretty. Uh, casts a purple light on the other side, but you still see the outline. It's as if the inside of them becomes completely illuminated, but you still see the outline, a dark purple outline of these shadows. As they Gideon, all. the light from your gauntlet isn't affecting the shadows at all. Ah, Nib! Ah, Nib! And I'll trip and I'll fall out of the cave. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Oh, you're, you're making your way towards the cave? Uh, I've been running towards the cave and yelling. I'll take the gold! Oh, we've learned from the parable! Oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry! I'm sorry we I don't know that. We, no. I'm sorry ah. that you had a gambling habit! Stop oh, I'm sorry you couldn't pay you back your debts to the bad! Oh, blah, 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 blah. What if he cursed us, man? What if all we gotta do is kill Niv? <laughs> you, you, make, you make your way to the cave, but there is no entrance. It's just solid cliff face. You look for the torch that had been sconced outside, Shit. but there is no sconce there. You find the tree, the nail still embedded in it that had the sign for uh, wanted, Will of the Feywild. You see that it had been recently removed. This is clearly where you had been. You even find your footprints walking from this, the, the face of this, uh, the sheer cliff face of this mountain, um, but there's no entrance. Smash cut to the lost bumper. <laughs> Everyone knows the show Lost, right? <laughs> it's very funny to Lost fans. Uh, Lost fans will love that joke. Ah, oh, Nim! Open up! Open up! Oh, gosh! Oh, no! Did you transfer your curse on us? Oh, no! Do we get monkey pawn? Oh! I hate monkey paws! Oh! Please, please, Nim! We're sorry, we're sorry! 
Do I do I look. see do I see him hitting an entrance or like hitting a portal? You, do you see him slamming his fist up against the mossy side of a stone mountainside? Look, fellas, can we all just calm the fuck down, all right? No. I'll turn into a miniature uh, <laughs> a bullet or land shark, and I'm just gonna start digging. I'm gonna try to just burrow through the, the cliff face. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah you you begin to good. burrow, and just burrowing. there's no tunnel here. You make a new one, and you burrow for however long you choose to. I'm not gonna keep going until someone yanks me out of this. <laughs> Look. Three things, right? One, we've been cursed. <laughs> Two, these aren't real ghosts, all right? Somehow getting pulled out of our heads. It's it's us. It's, it's an extension of us. You can confirm. Whoever else, you can confirm, right? Yes, yes. Every time I've attempted to hurt the shadow, it's hurt me instead. And three, did Rico kill Uncle, Uncle Globo? Is that the implication <laughs> yeah. of this? <laughs> can we fucking talk about it? <laughs> yeah. You see his jaw? Only Rico has ever done that to a guy. Like, <laughs> was it like a logging accident? <laughs> <laughs> this way is he didn't do it? Hmm. Oh, man. He peered him, I think. Oh, God. Oh, no offense, Pierre. I Man's never thought, saw that coming. I uh, He always spoke so fondly of Uncle Globo. Oh, uh, you read into the subtext on those hunting stories. And <laughs> I've never been one for a subtext. I, yeah. uh, I, have, I have a quick idea. I have a quick idea. Um, I will uh, open my pack, and I will go through my pockets, and I will collect all of the gold that I took, uh, some 70,000 gold pieces, and I will put them into a sack, and I will put them on the ground, and then I will back away slowly. Let's see if uh, the shadows... Care about the gold, or care about me now that I've given up the gold? I've given it up. I don't know how to, I'm not uh, possessing of the gold anymore. The shadows take, uh, they look at you with your hands on your hips, and they mimic your posture as they stand on either side of you. They look at you, they look at the gold, they look back at you, they look back at the gold, and then they both lunge forward and take a quick bite out of your neck, throwing <laughs> four points of gold. <laughs> That hurts! Well, I guess we get to keep the gold. That's the good news. Oh, God. Frogs with teeth is weirdly disgusting. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, are they frogs. doing that? Yeah. Oh, I guess they would be. <laughs> 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 I was picturing the 15-foot cards. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let <laughs> them lunging, bitches. Come on, come on, come on. 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 So they just they just gum me really hard is what you're saying. No, no, they have fangs. They have vampire fangs. They have fangs now. Yeah, they have. They've got fangs now. They have vampire fangs. They fang now. They have fangs now. They fang now. They fang now. Uh, well, that hurts, and I'm bleeding from my neck now. You're bleeding from your neck now. I'm bleeding from my neck now. Grigo, Grigo, stop! You can stop, Grigo, please. I turn around, having burrowed deep. It's the only way back out towards Uncle Glorbo's shadow. Oh no, Uncle uh, Glorbo's in this hole with you. <laughs> he's, I'll, I'll turn he's, he's around you. <laughs> I'll be there and I'll stop. I think I lost him. I'll turn. <laughs> I will immediately just be scared out of my wild shape. And I'll scramble. You and do. I am and, and as you do, you um, <laughs> you are horrified, and <laughs> and bit of the tunnel collapses, and you take three oh, points shit. of uh, bludgeoning damage. <laughs> and I, uh, it was I was growing up, and I just start rolling like a fucking uh, golf ball out of a uh, out of a window. <laughs> I am just rolling out. Uh, uh, I will take that damage. <sighs> Okay, okay. Uh, Frost, you're still haunted, and you that's all the gold you took? Yeah, it's not just the gold I took. I put every single penny in that bag and walked away from it. I don't know what a penny is, but here we are. All right, let's 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 just get all the gold we stole, and let's just put it in one big pile, and maybe we need to put all of it, like, you know, away from us. Oh. 
all shaking out of my coat. Oh, 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 oh. Torbeck. <laughs> this isn't fair. Torbeck didn't do anything. <laughs> and I'm like, he, he's like trying to pour all the gold out and like trying not to look at Agden. Agden's <laughs> neck, his, his head is only held by a yeah. sinew. He's yeah. like missing an eye. He's like ribbons. Yeah. Oh, he's definitely um, like stitched and, together oh, yeah, like yeah, two, yeah, yeah. 200 as, places. As you move forward, Agden once again jumps up and kicks you right in the back of your knees. You fall face first into Frost's gold, face plant into it, and you watch as the gold spreads all over. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's like knee. it's like tripping and falling onto Legos. You have gold <laughs> embedded in your knees. <laughs> He can say that, but he stole just as much gold as we did. Yeah, and he <laughs> killed it. I mean, he killed the guy worse than anybody else. Yeah. What the hell is he talking about? They yeah, haven't right. put together. Look at that. Yeah, man. He just doesn't remember. Yeah, well. You sure we gotta give up all this gold? I think it's not real gold. I think it's like magical curse tempt you gold. Uh, you know what I mean? And we got tricked. We got tempted, and we fucking fell for it. I feel like we have to find a way to return it. Hey, Grucko! Well, you found Ned? No, oh, the cave is gone. I borrowed it. Uncle Grubo was in the cave. <laughs> oh, 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 it was like, it was like Empire Strikes Back. Oh, 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 oh. You look behind you. There's no Uncle Glorbo. You look to your side. There's no Uncle Glorbo. You look to the other side. There's no Uncle Glorbo. You spin in circles, and he is nowhere to be seen. And then as you look down at the ground, you realize there is a huge shadow cast over you as you look up and Uncle Glorbo is above you, towering over you. <laughs> a glob of, like, swamp water. <laughs> Rattling and chains. Ectoplasm. <laughs> he begins to sing, Glorbo and Grico. <gasps> Yes! <laughs> Glorbo and Greco. Greco, <laughs> please, please just fucking stop. Just for one fucking second, alright? I'll stop it on me like mid fall. Okay. It's not real. It's not actually a ghost. It's not actually Uncle Glorbo. It's all in your head. It's all in all of our heads, alright? You have some gold. We all have some gold. And we have the gold here. We're gonna put it all in a pile. We're gonna walk away from it and see what happens, alright? It's our only chance. Don't be afraid of the shadow. But these injuries are very real. I put my hand away. But... <laughs> <laughs> Eat a banana. Okay. As soon as, uh, as, soon as uh, Gregor will make me one. And I all, all empty all of my bags and pouches and all of the gold that I have. I'm going to try to put uh, along with the uh, frost. Oh, okay. well, this is the worst feeling in the world. Getting rid of gold. So you're doing all of the gold you took as well as all of your additional gold. Or just the gold you Do took. Do have any? Uh, Torment, <laughs> those are one and the same. <laughs> yeah. uh, not everything. Every single gold, silver, copper, electron piece. Gricko, I'm just completely just <clears> throwing. Five thousand gold. I'm emptying oh, out. Torment has that? nothing. Uh, I will... I will keep the the what I think is real gold and not fake, like cursed gold. Okay. Um, roll an intelligence check to see how well you do at determining which pieces were yours and which pieces were. Twister. Twister. Yeah. We're horribly cursed by ghosts. Yeah, we're horribly cursed by ghosts. <laughs> Seventeen. Oh. Uh, you no, you feel like Feywild. you look at them and you realize <laughs> that there um, there are um, the gold pieces are clearly from the Feywild, um, where they were minted. You have no way of knowing, but these are not your standard Vantress uh, currency, and so you are able to pick through them and find the pieces that you know belong to you. Though you imagine you had some Fey coin on your person having been here for a while, um, those pieces inevitably get put into the, the pile. Yeah, but you, you feel like you you do a pretty good job at separating uh, the two. It's easy to tell the difference. Look, there's chocolate inside these. <laughs> <laughs> I need to roll a constitution saving throw. Okay. 
And here's the d4 that I'm subtracting from my next saving throw. And it's going to be a... Dread. <sighs> what? Uh, a 15. Oh, uh, you suffer from incontinence for the next 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Solidarity! <laughs> 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 it's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> <laughs> These things happen to the best of us! <laughs> 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 that not happen yet. The reason the Torvac is generally moist! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it's, it's very easy to tell that that, that wasn't one of the fake coins. It's just it was a, one of the party favors you got from the witch like carnival, and time has passed. <laughs> what? A, well, all the rest of these are gold. What did I just eat? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have random chocolate in your gold pouch, <laughs> Brittany? Where did you get I that? I was in my pockets. What? I don't know. It looked like gold. <laughs> oh, I don't know. What's going on. Well, this is. This is outrageous. <laughs> Extremely <laughs> concerning. Oh, feel great. <laughs> Are you okay, Rosie? That was it's very little chalky. Is... <laughs> what did it taste like? Was it even chocolate? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was chocolate. <laughs> Well, it can't be that bad, then. It's like, it's like a, a mocklet. It was like a, ch a, a faux chocolate. Oh, was it like <laughs> advent calendar chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh, oh no, Frost. That's ridiculous. There's no way anybody could mix up something that isn't chocolate. Does anybody want any licorice? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a kind of rubber hose. <laughs> Why are you eating these rubber hoses? <laughs> it's, just, it's not. It's Tormac's licorice That's stash. not licorice. I'm going to buy you licorice. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 Bravo. Bravo. Uh oh. Oh, fucking yeah. No, 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 nothing. I will need to walk away for a moment. I need to go over here. Is that all right? Did anybody smell that? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Oh. I'm like using prestige. What smells like bad eggs? Oh. 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 What happened? I go behind a, a, a fucking, fucking tree. Oh. Oh, no. Here, hold, hold these for me for a second. The uh, shadows hold them. Yeah. Frost, what are you thinking? What are you doing with your life? Oh. This has happened once or twice. Allow Torbeck to share a piece of wisdom. <laughs> Someone once told Dormag that people don't forget. <laughs> I'm, just, yeah, I'm just behind a tree at this point. I'm, I'm gone. People don't forget, Frost. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. Oh, is it very obvious that Frost should have stopped? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I say it's pretty obvious. Uh, uh, just, uh, make, make, make sure that the curse is being removed. Everything's fine here. <laughs> We're all fine. How are you? Uh, <laughs> oh, right. Nobody else eat random chocolate you find on the ground, all right? Why are you looking at Dormac? <coughs> I want to pick up one of the fake gold pieces, uh -huh. and do I get a sense that it's magical in any way? Roll an Arcana check. I'm going to twist this. This is... Dice, it's fucking hot. Uh, that's out. a 16, I believe. Uh, you, yep. <clears throat> you pick up the gold piece, and at first you notice nothing. But then you notice a, a gentle warmth to it, and you can feel a slight vibration, a magical thrum. Um, you drop the coin and pick up another, and you wait, and eventually you feel that too, and you try another and another and another. You eventually get through 25 different gold pieces, Fuck. and you, they all feel the same way. Oh my god, how did I not notice this before? Classic, it's matter, man. It's classic cursed gold. 
classic. Yeah, yeah, no. It's, they, they, these are very obviously cursed magical coins. Oh. Oh. What do you mean, cursed? <laughs> <laughs> Frost, Frost walks up to you. He's completely clean. He's pressed a yeah. himself. But it? he is very pale. He's sweating. He's sweating. <laughs> um, his eyes are bloodshot. Oh. Uh, and his nose is running. Oh, it's, it look a little damp. And chocolate went right through me. <laughs> but you good he now? looks like he just left a review on Amazon about some uh, some gummy bears, sugar, sugar-free sugar. gummy yeah. bears. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I ate an entire bag of Wow potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> this Don't let this get you down. It gets easier every time you make that mistake. Uh, I've never felt lower than this time. <laughs> You can only go up. You never trust a fart, Frosty. <laughs> I didn't have to trust anything. You know who <laughs> taught me that? Wait, 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 wait. I already gave up my gold. I gave up my stinky, stinky gold. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, we gave up the gold. And as you panic and run forward, you trip on a root and slam your face into the ground, taking four points of damage. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Uh, I want to make sure that I don't have any more gold on me, and that it's all in the pile. Any more fey gold. Fey gold, correct. Yeah. You, you were able to do that previously. All right, Without fellas. Gold. Let's get rid of this. It's all in for Yeah, I've given all of mine up. I've given all of mine up. It's the only gold I had on me. I've given every thing I've got that I had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you think the curse is going to make us all shit our ass? Oh, God, I hope not. No, it was the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't eat any chocolate. Oh, are you sure? Licorice house. It's not licorice. <laughs> 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 Stop waving that in my face. Oh my god. (laughs) Become a VIP at Crooked Moon. If you enjoy this kind of content, you'll love our upcoming Kickstarter campaign, The Crooked Moon. Become a VIP at thecrookedmoon.com is the best way you can support us. Thank you so much for tuning in. All the new folks from TikTok. I don't think it's working, Grimmy. Well, hold on, hold on. To do some kind of fey ritual or something? I mean, oh, magical gold! You have been returned <clears throat> to a pile in the middle of the fey wild. Please, shadows, go away. I wait for anything to happen. You wait one minute, two minutes, five minutes pass. The shadows are continuing to act as they've acted this entire time. Fuck! <laughs> Perhaps it's about concepts of ownership. We have to <laughs> declare that these are Nibs coins or something. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't looking too good, man. If you need like an hour, that's fine. <laughs> it's the combination of blood loss and other matter. Do, do you want to just contribute to the conversation from that bush over there? Oh, no. <laughs> Sitting down. <laughs> Oh, you need help getting up, Frosty? I'll walk over. No, I, I just want to. I just want to sit here on this log. I think that's gonna help. Okay, well, I'm sure you'll feel better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, so I'm gonna have to clean again. <laughs> Are you sure it's not concepts of ownership, perhaps? <laughs> Did we leave them and put a sign? These are these. Coin, the reciprocity and whatnot. I, the, the rules. I'm not thinking straight. Yeah, but we can't just like if Nib's not around and he's fucking gone. How are we gonna give it back to him? Just say, oh, these are Nib's coins now. These are Nib's <laughs> coins now. We bequeath. <laughs> we bequeath onto <laughs> Nib. <laughs> we bequeath. Unto Nib, I declare bankruptcy! I declare bankruptcy! I have no gold pieces left! Yeah, that's 
The spirit? All of my creditors may not hunt me down, kill go. me, and throw my body in the swamp. We all return to torment. You heard him, boys. See? You can, you can leave us alone now. Unlike... Uncle Globo, I wish to escape my creditors. <laughs> Is he still there? Mm-hmm. Ah! I'm sorry, Uncle Globo. <clears throat> well, maybe it's not got anything to do with the gold, man. He said it was all in our heads. Why don't we try knocking somebody out? That's a decent point. Uh, Torbeck means look. The cave entrance is gone. <laughs> Something isn't right. Well, I think he means like, you know, making one of us unconscious. Yeah. Yeah, Torbeck is agreeing. <laughs> Are you volunteering? Well, Torbeck didn't say that. <laughs> Torbeck is just saying that Torbeck thinks that Gideon might be right. <coughs> okay, I'll take one for the team. Come on, Gideon. <laughs> All right, Come on. Man. Oh, we've been well, here hold before. on, oh, okay. make some bananas first before you do okay. this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, uh. My, 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 my name is Agrikita Banana, <laughs> and I'm here to say I hope. Frost, that smell, frosty smell <laughs> does go away. <laughs> the smell of banana bananas hits your nose. It's a lot stronger than you'd expect. Your stomach, your stomach turns. Uh, you, you feel the nausea um, welling up inside of you. <laughs> Nobody look, I can make it to the tree line. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 can you only make bananas? Uh, I mean, that's what I'm used to making. <coughs> Maybe some cheese will bind him up. <laughs> Torbeck does. Horrific diarrhea, lots no. of cheese, too much cheese, it's lots just, of dried fruit. Uh, I mean, it Repeat would help. The process. It would help. It make make a bunch of mallow cups. Those will plug you right up. <laughs> I'm sure bananas will do your tummy very nice. Okay, get in. Come on. All right, man. Where do you want it? All right. Just like we practice. All right. On the count of three. Okay. Here we go. One, oh, two, oh, three. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Dude, Clark feels like you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> Just go to sleep, man. It will get easier. I like the point of Rico until he falls unconscious. You don't have to roll for it. it just no, you, you you do. Um, he's, no, no, no. I'm, I'm saying I'm saying you 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 just knock him unconscious. Um, Griko, oh, you damn. lose all I of your health. Hundred points of damage. You lose all of your health and you fall unconscious. Not and legal, as right? the shadows close in, <laughs> so does one particular shadow. Hey, get out of here, Glorbo. He's unconscious now, right? You're all in his head. You you all watch as Uncle Glorbo's shadow continues to loom over Gricko. And Gricko, as you're floating through this unconscious state, all you see around you is darkness. You hear the clinking of gold and occasionally a glint of light. And as you look, it, it almost seems as if a, a beam of light glints off of piles of gold all around you. But as you move through this, you, you're never able to get to them. All the while that you can't see it, you can feel the presence of that shadow. Ever watching, ever moving, ever waiting. Even in death, Glorbo has come. <laughs> I'm in hell! I'm in hell! <laughs> I'm in hell. <laughs> oh, quick, give me a banana, he's saying he's in hell. My, 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 pris my prison is regret. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, baby, he's not. It's a living nightmare. <laughs> this is a hell of my own making. I kind of like him better than some of you. He's pretty fucking good. <laughs> well, okay. uh, I'll take one of the bananas and... <laughs> well, at least let him make one death saving throw. All right, well... Yeah, yeah. make one death saving throw. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he gets. Oh, 19. Mm. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, 
Good. All right, go ahead. Uh, come on, man. Come on, back to us. Is the, is the doorman of hell? Chew it up. Chew it up. Torbeck takes it back. Torbeck doesn't think that works. <laughs> well, what the hell are we gonna do about these things, then? You can't knock a guy unconscious. You can't give away all the curse gold. <laughs> okay, I have an idea. <laughs> uh, Uncle Globo can buy my popsicle. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Ross, what's your idea? All right, uh, let me, oh. I'm just gonna try it. Oh, stinky! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> Guards, nameless guards. I don't know what your name was in the, perhaps in your shadow state you can't tell me. But perhaps I can help you. Is there something in life that I prevented you doing that I now must quest to achieve on your behalf? Perhaps visit a lover so that you can possess my body and communicate some form of uh, redemption or uh, allow you to pass on in peace and solitude and uh, your that, stomach turns. Uh, you wanna, you're inviting a ghost to take over your body so you can have sex with their lover? <laughs> <laughs> you're shitting yourself. I also love. choose this guy's wife. <laughs> <laughs> you're shitting yourself every five seconds, man. Who let this guy come up with a plan? You no, pervert? I'm offering redemption. Uh, <laughs> the, the, perhaps perhaps that's the, the, the pattern here, is that <sighs> we prevented all of these people from... What they would have enjoyed in life. It's this saga of the stinky pervert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I don't, I, I mean, unless, unless that's what you want me to do, is that, is it, is it banging? <laughs> uh, I'll bang. I can, real, I can, just, I can clean, I can clean up. It's I'm not the ghost. <laughs> Surely he had dreams. We, we perhaps perhaps this is a uh, this is one of those stories where you know in the, the Feywild they talk about. Agnon <laughs> <laughs> was hurting people. Look, look, maybe it is about ownership, right? And we need to give the gold away to do good, just like Nib has to do, turning into a bunch of bullshit. All right, so maybe we just need to sign it over to somebody, and then and then we're free. And we sign it over to the. Uh, shadows? <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that a real idea? <laughs> I'm well past rational thought. <laughs> no, that's a fucking stupid idea. We're gonna sign it over to the owl bear. Go oh. easy on him, he's dehydrated. That's a good point. I'm gonna snap my fingers and there'll be like a, a shadowy puff and a contract will appear midair and open. <laughs> And it'll uh, be signing over all of the gold to uh, one juniper owl bear. Wait, 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 wait! What if that just gives the owl bear our curses? We can't do that. Well, they won't be free of our curses. But look at her. She didn't hurt anybody. She's currently snuggling with Co uh, with Cootsie. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Bunch of perverts in this this thin thither. God, Juniper. Jesus, you got an audience. Holy <laughs> hell. Oh, my God. Oh God! I gotta write that one down. Oh, <laughs> Uncle Globo's DVD snuggling with coots. <laughs> oh, oh God! He's in a stash. Oh God! Now they had a confrontation. It's all coming together now. Uh, yes, yes. yes, please. Holy oh, shit! Gosh. You are all, you have just finished putting your gold into a pile in the middle of the forest. Uh, you are signing a contract to oh, yeah, give all of the gold, uh, this fey gold, over to uh, Juniper uh, in the hopes that it will appease whatever curse has befallen on you. All right, Juniper, um, just, you know, just need your, your, your paw, if you don't mind, please. Let me just. Oh, he's a, he's an inkwell. Let me just. We dab. can't do if this. Mr. Oh, Crow, that's a beautiful signature, Juniper. Look at that. Wow. 
Oh, it's stunning. All right, what do you think? This is going to cause a double curse for all of our horrific misdeeds. Uh, I'm not convinced this will work either. I thought I was onto something, but the guards haven't responded to my offer to bang their wives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You'll disappear uh, they both lunge in Shadow. and bite their neck, doing one point of damage. No, they will curse Juniper, and she is a bull precious defenseless owl bear. No, oh, well. Oh, we got cursed because we stole it all. We're giving it away to her for free. Yeah, you know? oh, she's, indeed. She's not stealing the gold. We're giving it away. Like we're we're the heroes. You this know? does not sit right with Torbeck. All right, enjoy your gold, Juniper. What do you think? Shadows, you can go away now. Juniper, uh, Juniper motions uh, or moves towards the gold and. Begins <clears throat> sniffing around it. She finds another one of those uh, chocolate gold pieces. And no! Oh, no! 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 Juniper, no! And, uh, you're imagine the smell around here. And, and no, eats it whole with the wrapper on. Um, she's a large owl bear, and something like this is not going to affect her stomach in any way uh-huh. whatsoever. Oh, she oh, seems to that. enjoy it. She's um, doomed. As she uh, sniffs around the gold and not quite understanding what it is that you're asking of her to do with it. Are the shadows still there? They are. Oh, well, that didn't work. You just signed away all our gold for nothing, Grimmy. Well, I'm not sure that an owl bear can, in terms of contracts, you know, intellectually agree to sign it, so it's Gross. probably void. Well, we need to find someone with more sentience. Well, no. What, what's N- Nib is turning the gold into something that can help people. Magical right? items. It's turning it into magical items or whatever, but we don't have the ability to do that. Oh, maybe we can spin it. I'll take one of the cursed gold pieces and I'll put it down and I'll spin it. It spins for a short amount of time before it falls over onto its side. Oh! Look, look, look. I don't know what we're going to do about this, but I think we can't do anything about it right here, right now. So let's put all the gold into the wagon with the chariot. Mm-hmm. And we, got, we either need to find Nib or find some people to help with the gold. Otherwise, these shadows aren't going anywhere. Torbeck's knees are never going to be the same again. Uh, <laughs> Torbeck can already feel the weather changing. <laughs> Juniper, uh, you need to... Uh, can you smell the gold and perhaps track the scent? <gasps> you're, oh, you're an owl bear. No. You're you're very clever. Can you source out where 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 Nib may have been gone? Uh, roll a an animal handling check. It's a great one. Mm. A disadvantage. Oh, yeah, oh. I actually did something smart, so thank you, Dice. 24. <laughs> a disadvantage? Oh, a disadvantage. There's a lot of scents around. <laughs> uh, and it's animal handling, it's right? Throw her off. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Come on. 11. <laughs> uh, Juniper sniffs around the gold. She seems to at least understand roughly what you're asking. Uh, she sniffs around the gold and she perks up as if she has caught a scent. And she begins to um, she begins to move forward as she sniffs the ground. Uh, she tightens up her limbs and begins to strut over to Crummy. And then over to Gideon, and over to Torbeck, and to Greco, and to you, smelling all of you on the gold as it's been in your packs and on your person and mingling with your scent. It smells like us. I should have realized. Oh, gods. All right, well, look, we're going to have to fucking deal with this. All right, just keep eating bananas so you don't pass out. And let's just start looking for Nib. Or somebody, anybody. Well, you think we should keep carving into the mountain? No, I think he magically teleports around, maybe. I don't know. That seems fair enough. <laughs> oh, he came all this way. Oh, wait. Juniper just came here. Didn't Jun- we, Juniper brought us here? Yes. And she was supposed to be here. Oh, let's all get in the, in the chariot. Okay. Okay. All right. Damn, right. I'm not sitting here, Frost. <laughs> 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 what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, 
Can you okay. clean that up? I, mean, I, I, I can try to help. Quite a bit. Can I try to help? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it smells <laughs> like making it work. It smells like eggs. Oh. It's just like the wizarding world 500 yeah. years ago. Oh, no. <laughs> now it smells like Febreze and shit. Oh, oh no. God. I'm doing my best. Oh. Okay. We're all in. Gucci, yep. take the reins once again. <laughs> Juniper. Get help, help her. Proceed. And Juniper does as she's told, and she begins to proceed. Uh, Frost, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Disadvantage for me, please. A disadvantage, you say? Oh, yeah. So this advantage, right? Yes. That's, no, that's not talking. Whoa, look over that turn, Hootsie! Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a really rough ride for you. No uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay. That's enough out of you. Oh. God. It's filmed like a uh, fucking Kill Bill Part Two when she's in the car, but it's all of us looking on in horror of Frost. Just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Careful around the bends. Frost control. You gotta take the lily pad and just yeah. like you know shadow us two hundred feet behind and to the side or something. Yeah, probably. Uh, I still have the uh, lily pad. I can probably yeah, just. Yeah, exactly uh, right. Can I enroll the like lily a pad? fucking. Uh, what is it? Yeah, I mean, you can. It was cracked and hard in the. In the oh, distal. you're right. So is has it been rehumidated? Um, it looks like it is repairing itself, but it's not fully repaired. I'm worried I can't use this. Uh, I'm gonna have to sit in the cherry with you guys. I'll endeavor to keep things <laughs> fine. Things are fine. And right. you continue on your way. Uh, and it seems like um, it seems like Juniper has an idea of where she wants to go. Whether it's where you want to go is unclear, but she seems to be moving with purpose as you make your way through the trees, uh, following along what is clearly a a pathway, uh, a rough but used um, road of sorts. As you make your way through, past beautiful purple trees into beautiful pink trees and blue and into green. You pass a crooked rock and a stream, a gentle waterfall. You ride, or you ride like this for about 30 minutes before you pass some purple trees, some pink trees, some blue trees, some green, a crooked rock, a stream, a gentle waterfall, and you continue for about 30 more minutes until you find yourselves passing through some purple trees, some pink trees, some blue trees, <coughs> some green trees. Uh, Kremi, is that crooked rock uh, that look familiar to me? Familiar to you? Why would that look familiar, Frost? Well, and also these purple trees. Didn't we just pass those? Oh, I don't know. I've been paying attention. I've even been looking out. I've just been sort of staring at my feet, trying not to focus on the smell. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Are we going in circles? Oh, those trees are green. What are you guys saying? You guys saying who's his bad at driving this thing? And it's taking us in circles? Gucci, you're doing great. Is Uncle Gideon helping you how to drive? <laughs> oh, you're going to be able to drive all your friends down to the local mall. Oh, it will be so sweet. I think that we're in, trapped in a loop. I don't think we can escape from this mountain. Oh, no. <clears throat> I look behind me. Do, are the guards sitting with us on the chariot, or are they like... <laughs> they're all floating behind oh, the chariot. They're all parasailing. <laughs> 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 the, 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 the clouds are. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually just balloons. <laughs> it's like from fucking up. Uh, the smell is killing them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't... You passed a stream. See? A small waterfall. Look at this. Oh my god. Well, that's brand new. Well, no, stop turning then. Just just go straight. Go just just hey, leave. Man. She's doing great, all right? And no, you're, I'm telling and you. And you're positive she likes it you should be. You haven't made any turns. You haven't come to a crossroads. There's oh been no fork in the road. It's just been straight. 
We're moving as straight as that shit coming out of frosty pants, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, We're traveling in one single direction, all right? I'm never going to live this down. As you pass purple trees, <laughs> pink trees, <laughs> blue trees, green trees, a crooked rock, oh, a gentle stream, we, a small waterfall. Are we, like, if we look behind us, are we, we're like in a forest, mm-hmm. right? We're not like looking at the mountain behind us, are we? No, you've, you're well past, well past where the that. entrance to Nib's cave had been. You passed that a while ago. Yeah, when you reached, again. when you reached the purple trees. But you haven't, no, passed anything like that again. It's just purple trees into pink, into blue, into green, to a crooked rock, a gentle stream, and a small waterfall. Mm. Maybe we're just in some kind of like stream. Maybe we should jump out. Like, I mean, if you're gonna stop, let's stop by the stream. <laughs> <laughs> we're trapped in a hammerball bear cartoon. <laughs> well, we're at the purple oh. tree, so hang on, hang okay, on. Wait another twenty minutes. And you continue for yeah. another twenty minutes until you make your way past the crooked rock and the gentle stream, or oh, to whoa, the gentle whoa, stream. Stop! We're at the stream. <laughs> ah, she loves driving. Yeah, <laughs> we're right back. Oh, we gotta loop back here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the stream and I endeavor Sit to in it. free myself of all sense so that I'm you, fragrant. Yeah, you make your way to the stream and as you step into it, a yeah. um, a gym of coral fish appear. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> a gym. Yeah. That's, that's very funny. <laughs> so that's, that's very good. Yeah. So I like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That, <laughs> my gains. My that, weight protein also makes me shit my pants. Don't worry, bro. <laughs> 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 I can't take credit for the gym of Carl Fish. That's when so I was funny. playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3 with some of the Evantress uh, fam in uh, Discord, I don't remember who it was that called wow. him a gym of Carl Fish, which was genius. hilarious. Genius. So. Well, done. <laughs> well, I don't have a solution. I'm cleaning my underwear, and there are two voiceless guards who occasionally bite me. And I can't <laughs> seem to convince them that <laughs> I, I can help them. I can free them and then allow them to pass on to the next life, but... How come the fact that we're in the woods with all these trees and bushes and leaves and the only clean water we've seen since, uh, you know, neck bats, <laughs> and uh, you decided to just shit in it? <laughs> What's that all about, man? Wait, what would you have me do, Gideon? No, wipe your ass with the leaves! <laughs> Use your magic to clean it up, man. Don't just shit in all the water. I'm t- I already have been using the magic. It, it, this isn't coming out. <laughs> Gideon, do you want do you want to try? Pull it out of me like oh, lava. Walk over. I'm going to need a poop. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I got new magic cleaning abilities. I don't even have normal cleaning abilities. All right. You see me? I'm covered in dirt. This oil's from seven years ago. All right. <laughs> This mustard stain? That wasn't yesterday. I think I have some perfume in my pack. Hold on. I'll continue to clean. <laughs> now, right. what are we gonna do? This curse is worse than I thought. And I don't know how we're gonna get out of this. Are we gonna die here? We just might. Probably. We might yeah. just yeah. be here till we die. Uh, uh, till these shadows kill us. Dormit doesn't want to die. I am going to consult with the primal spirits. I'm going to sit by this smelly stream (laughs) and attempt to think of an idea of how we might be able to break this curse. Okay. How long is that gonna take? Torbeck? Yeah? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna walk over to like a rock by the stream and I'm just gonna sit and cross my legs. Let's close my eyes. We've gotten into a very spooky situation, primal spirits. <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> Would none of our eyes are working? Please help me, oh great primal monstrosity spirits. Is this gonna work, Mr. Grammy? <laughs> don't you actually have like augury or something on your spell list? <laughs> I don't. I don't do art. I think you do. I think they gave it to druids because you only used it somehow. Who? <laughs> you're, you're always telling uh, Dandy to use augury. Uh, 
uh, to your point, to a uh, I don't fucking think so. Uh, He's never done it before. <laughs> <laughs> or at least it's never worked before. Torvik doesn't clarify. like to be negative, <laughs> but Torvik is worried that we're wasting our time. Well, I think all of us might be a waste of time, Torvik. I don't have it prepared. <laughs> <laughs> if so. Well, I'm going to just basically try to, do I get any sense of how to break this curse or figure out what to do. Do I get anything? And I'm, what what are you doing I'm to just, try? I'm just trying. I'm just kidding. I'm just, kidding. I'm just trying to think. Does 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 Gricko have any idea to figure out? Is there any clue that I could piece Roll together? Roll an Arcana check. Oh. oh this doesn't work. Torbeck has, uh, Torbeck has an idea. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, okay, Torbeck might not have an idea. <laughs> um, the Arcana check would have been a disadvantage. Oh, because I'm exhausted. Yeah, you can't fix that. One more twist, one more twist, one more twist, one more twist. One more twist. How many ones? One more twist. No, that's a seven. That's a seven. You have a one, a five, and a seven. Okay, hold on. One more twist, one more twist, one more twist. Thank you, chat. 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 And a one. <laughs> so the best you can do is a five, right? If we take the two highest. One, five, seven, one. Yep. Five, three, oh, nine, nine. <laughs> well, we'll see how this goes. Five, seven, oh. Dormag might I uh, commune yeah. with the train spirit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> into the great engines of the I hereafter. declare uncursing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just actually sitting there. Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Please! <laughs> I commune with you! <laughs> hear a random voice from in the woods. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh, help! Is this actually gonna help us? <laughs> I like take a deep breath. Oh, please help! Oh, please, please! <laughs> Oh, God, oh, yeah. oh, that's funny. Seven. <laughs> With the close here. You, you scream and scream into, oh. into this ancient forest, and your voice reverberates back at you. Yes, and, calmly. And you, <laughs> and you imagine that if the primal spirits were going to tell you anything, they would be drowned out by the sound of your yelling. Yeah. But you hear, They've actually been trying this entire <laughs> been trying time. The <laughs> oh, please, uh, it's so spooky, and I want to eat The answer is... The, the answer is <laughs> uh, well, Torbeck has an idea. What? What's your idea, man? Anything, please. Um, can we call the king for help? He's never answered us one time. Well, maybe now he will. Well, maybe not, but we gotta try, right? I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? I guess uh, the last thing I want is worse. Is to meet the king at this time. <laughs> but he's powerful, and we're stuck and scared, and some of us are hungry, and some of us are pooping our pants. <laughs> <laughs> but some of us. Who else Don't talk is to your train. Who else is pooping their pants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's call the King of Hearts. I mean, what the hell, Grimmy? You got any other ideas? I mean, uh, this is one tough nut to crack. I already tried freaking the owl bear. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the what owl bear? You want me. Uh, the light oh, doesn't banish him? What if you asked the great kind baron how one would stop shitting their pants? <laughs> I'm not asking him. Oh, <laughs> you fucking <laughs> kidding me? That's pretty indeed. I just, we just have to wait it out. Why don't you just ask him how to get rid of mind goblins? <laughs> what? <laughs> ask him how to get rid of mind goblins. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, uh, and then why mind. Cl- why not, man? Yeah, because no, yeah. that's yeah. This is pathetic. I'm sorry. If I go to him and be like, "Oh, we can't, we got curves and we can't figure out how to get rid of the frosted shit themselves," he's gonna laugh it's at not, me. It's separate it's from no. the curse. I actually I hate random chocolate. <laughs> 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 That's the best part. <laughs> so I just don't say actually. <laughs> 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 we got ghosts. 
I got more problems than ghosts. <laughs> oh. no, it doesn't work that way. Oh. Right. We really fucking needed them. Maybe I would try. This is not one of those scenarios. Are we going all right? King? Wait, what are you um, trying to commune with the great train? Oh, <laughs> great mechanical engines in the hereafter. Like a ghost are rider in the sky. Oh, go, great ghost rider in the, the sky. sky. The sky. Ghost riders in the sky. I commune with Gideon's train, <laughs> ghost cowboy. Bitch. Ride your flaming steed into my mind garage and unveil me of your. Oh, mechanical wisdom. I plus one that. <laughs> Thomas had never seen such bullshit before. <laughs> uh, Griffin was actually, Griffin was quite uh, distracting, considering this is something you've never done before, so I'm going to have you roll a disadvantage. It's also just not real. <laughs> Yeah, great, it's just a good time to dread, the really. The great mechanics in the sky don't know that it's not real. <laughs> yeah, they do. I, I know what that shape is. Yeah, they know that's, that's not fucking real. Oh my can god. Twist, can I twist it? Can I twist yeah, it? Yeah, we're twisting yeah, it. Yeah, twist it. Twist it. Twist it. Oh, I'm, gonna use I'm thinking about two twists in advance. Yeah, just, right. just roll. Just, just do a double twist. Or ice bone rules. Double twist. Okay, that's a two. <laughs> that's a two. Okay, okay. This, this is going to at least be a three. This is at least going to be a three. This is just fate. It's at least gonna be a three. That's how probably. Oh, <laughs> great ghost rider in the sky! I am helping. <laughs> it's a six. <laughs> it was more than a three. All right, one last twist. One last. Twist. One last. One last. Twist. 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 One last Here's twist. the other one that you ever rolled. What are your current yeah. two right, highest? Right. Six and one. Six. Is so six, five, six, one, five. Two. six and five are your two highest. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Actual powers don't want us to pass this. Thread. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's actual. It's fate. <laughs> That's a nine. So you still take nine. the six, though, right? Arcana. Uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage, <laughs> but when you twist it, it is undoes it. It's not like the the two lows. You're technically not supposed to be able to twist dreads, but I don't. Oh, you're dreading. Dreading. oh you're dreading. Dreading. I, that's that's why it was a disadvantage. No, I, oh, I thought oh. it was just exhausted. Yeah, yeah, no, just... it was because I dreaded it. Oh. But oh, but yeah, the no. exhaustion. I, it, I don't oh. care. I don't care. It's oh. fine. This yeah. is this is funnier than just chat. me dreading you. So. For, the, for the twist. That is the noise that you hear, and you are excited for a moment as you think that the the train spirits are responding to you. Frigo, as it's working, man. You open oh, your man. eyes. Frigo, it's working. As you open your eyes and you see the look on Frost's face and realize that that is where the sound came from. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I hear the train are coming! I hear it, kid! I hear its engine calling! Oh, why does the train smell like shit? <laughs> Nothing's <laughs> working. Oh, so you got steam coming out of your ears. Damn it. Uh, I'm going to be here forever. That's not real. Call the king, man. Call the king, Torbeck. It's on you. It's your idea, man. All Call right. him up. Let's see. Fine. Uh, I'll go through my filthy sack and see if I can find the uh, chess piece. Yeah, you find it easily. Everybody, just hold on. I can hear you. Uh, <laughs> your highness, king of hearts, are you there? This is Torbeck, if you didn't know. Torbeck. You guys heard it, right? Is it going through? Yep, yep, no, I heard it. It's still it. clear, man. We're we're having several emergencies. <laughs> yes, yes. Torbeck would never call under normal. Quiet sir. yourself. Oh. 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 Are you in mortal peril? From a certain point of view. You have awoken me during my hours of sleep. This better be good, Torbeck. Well, I mean, it's really bad is what it is. We're stuck in a forest and we keep seeing the same gray just, rock just the and the same Don't purple tree Don't and the same purple thing. And then the, the and then the thing, we see the crooked rock again, and Frost keeps shitting no. himself. <laughs> it's really bad. No. We don't have any any way oh, to fix Torbeck. him. 
He looks dehydrated. <laughs> we don't have any food or water. He shit in the river. <laughs> it was our only source of water. Uh, it's blowing down. Uh, There's gonna be more water coming soon. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. King Hearts, Dora is scared. You know about the ghost? <laughs> you mentioned the ghost. Yeah, oh, mention the fucking ghost. Oh, Torbeck. 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 Please forgive Torbeck. Torbeck is very scared. We're, 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 we're cursed. I don't know how else to say this. We're cursed. There's, there's shadow people. Torbeck's used to shadow people, but this is different. Please. Can you please stop yelling? I'm sorry. Did you call me? Because your friend is shitting in the woods. <laughs> this is one of the problems, yes! <laughs> Turn the pawn towards your location and not your hairy chest. <laughs> what, 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 what do you mean? <clears throat> Just like put it on the ground? Hold it in your hands and turn its face towards your location. And as you do so, you watch the eyes alight with red. You're in thither. You're near the wayward pool. That's why you keep seeing the same thing over and over again. It has nothing to do with your curse. What about the shitting? <laughs> it's because of the chocolate. I already explained it. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Dermot wants to be sure. Dermot is worried. <sighs> this entire is no joke. Very Do you have any cheese? <laughs> that, that's what Dormex said. <laughs> Guys, he's suggesting cheese. Uh, Can you make me some goddamn uh, okay. cheese? Dormex is so sorry. Dormex already suggested that, and everybody laughed at Dormex. <laughs> yeah, that's because you think rubber hoses are licorice. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll try to make some cheese. I'll try to make some cheese. Quite. Do. How you're going to make your way to the wayward pool is going to be your problem. There are signs all over the place as to how to get in. You just simply have to open your eyes and look for them. But be careful. The unicorn Lamorna is tricksy. This place is not what it seems. I'm going to bed now. Do not sorry, call upon me. What about the ghosts? What about the ghosts? Do not call upon me again unless you are in mortal peril. And you hear the line go silent. Oh, oh the ghost killed Gricko. Oh, fuck. Did he say unicorn? Yeah. I couldn't quite catch the name. He told us not to <coughs> call him again. Well, at least we know we can, perhaps, in the future, if we have a real emergency. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make you some cheese, Frosty. What, uh... Mm, uh, spirits, I request cheese! <laughs> uh, uh oh! <laughs> I'm holding like a big just wedge of cheese. No, <laughs> it's not. It's actually a, it's a gigantic wedge of very pungent gorgonzola. <laughs> That's all I got. Sorry, Frost. That's fine. I appreciate that you put it inside of a red wax seal. That's very charming. <laughs> it's a giant baby bill. <laughs> it's very pungent, Frost. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, Frost, I can't. That smell. You should get fat ass on the wall. Hold on. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna commune with the river spirit. <laughs> oh, river spirit. <laughs> well, I don't notice. I, that. I commune with me. <laughs> Guards, can you just fucking kill me? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Uh, they both bite you, uh, doing four points of damage. Uh, that feels so good. The pain distracts me from my embarrassment. Uh, you uh, haven't been cursed, but this uh, this food poisoning is uh, it's quite difficult, and the gorgonzola goes straight through you. 
<laughs> he said jeans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, the king of hearts wouldn't have been wrong about the solution. Rigo, how long are you going to be? <laughs> Rigo. Rigo. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, w- I heard from the, the Great Rivers Bureau. <laughs> ah, fuck it. I, I, I walk over and I'm just I'm kneeling down next to Grico at this point. We're both squatting. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god. <laughs> How do we get here? I think we deserve to die. <laughs> We're not going to die. We have to look for signs <laughs> and a unicorn. Oh, We're going to be fine. He is just shitting water at this point. <laughs> you got nothing left. I don't know why you both want to haunt me still. This is a nightmare. <laughs> I'm already dying from... from <laughs> Digested Gorgonzola. <laughs> Joke's on you, we're into that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Bowl? The spears? Yeah, whatever. Oh, God! <laughs> Don't all cars have spears? <laughs> <laughs> they have giant spears, and yet they decide to bite him. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly right. It's ironic, because I bet them to that. Okay, sir. So, Okay. Uh, yeah, no, you finish it. And toe back, look for the signs. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, I begin to wander away from the uh, carriage uh, to see if I can find any of these signs that the King of Hearts was uh, asking me to look for. Roll investigation check. Uh, Torbeck would not be sure if they are actual, real, physical, like literal signs, or if he was being like, you know, hey, get your metaphorical head out of your metaphorical ass. Uh, investigation, you say? Twelve. You begin making your way through this forest, past the gentle, now brown pond, or (laughs) stream. The wayward pool, I believe it's called. (laughs) The wayward poo, to (laughs) to the small waterfall. And it is over here, you're not that far from your friends. Um, It is over here that you begin to notice rocks lined up in an interesting pattern, and at first it it doesn't look like anything unusual until you realize that they're they're spaced apart um, almost perfectly all along the way. And you look down to inspect each of them, and there are carvings in them. The first one shows um, what appears to be two unicorns um, curled together and um, an embrace, a loving embrace. Um, the next one you see a uh, one of the unicorns appears to be crying and sorrowful, alone. Uh, the next you see this rock is carved with um, what is clearly uh, this unicorn having a bout of anger and casting some sort of magics. And then you see this forest completely shrouded in in mist. Mm-hmm. Next, you see what looks to be a human man. Just <clears throat> normal human man looking confused. And you finally get to the last one, you notice that there are rocks scattered about. Um, but you see that this human man um, is standing, looking out over what appears to be a lake, and in the very center is one lone island. And the only thing that seems strange about this carved image is the horn affixed to the human man's head. Hey guys, when you can all take like five <coughs> minutes to get yourselves together, mm-hmm. I got something to show you. Is it progress? <laughs> it's something. No, okay, I'm here. Uh, let's get the fuck see. out of here. Okay. Oh, yeah. I would then show them the rocks and the progression of the story uh, exactly as you told me to the best of my mm-hmm. ability. And uh, it kind of feels familiar. I wonder if this horn has something to do with something. What do you think? It's possible. Wait. If there's like a unicorn, if you're waving around a seven unicorn horn, oh, yeah. is it going to be like, oh, he killed my brother, Charleston? 
<laughs> is that a common unicorn name? <laughs> no, the one Charles name. You just, just go like, right in the moment. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is, that, is that a weird? Is that a weird unicorn name? Torvik doesn't know. Look, I didn't cut this off. All right, some other jackass did. What if he said like, oh, "I mock you for revenge"? Well, you will never find the wayward pool now. And that guy kind of looks like a human, and that guy doesn't. So we might be okay. Well, I'm wondering, what if that's how he got the horn on his head? Is that he cut it off and stuck it on his head? Oh, you think you should try sticking that on your head? I mean, I may have already tried a few times over the last <laughs> few weeks. So, I mean, when? I don't remember seeing you do that. Well, just, you know, I mean, it didn't do anything at the time. I could try now in front of this Come fucking on. sun. <laughs> no time like the present. Does it do anything? You place the horn upon your head, and immediately you watch as the oh the world around you begins to shift. And where there had been purple trees and pink and blue and green, this gentle stream and the small waterfall, they all begin to fade away as they swirl in this beautiful, glittery mist until eventually you see that you are actually standing on the bank of this beautiful pool. Um, it is more like a large lake, though it doesn't look that deep. Imagine you could wade through it to this island at the very center, lush and beautiful, filled with flowers of varying colors, colors that you've never even seen before. Whoa. There doesn't seem to be anything or anyone on this small island, but as you look and you strain your eyes, you see what appears to be an unlit brazier. On the island. Mm -hmm. and so we're like magically teleported. We've been transported. You're not teleported. It's just whatever itself. glamour was on oh, this area uh, is gone. Like illusory terrain. We've seen through the rail. Oh. Yeah, oh my yeah. gosh. And what you do see is that the, the mist seems to coalesce. Um, around the island more so than anywhere else. It is significantly more misty and veiled. Does that actually fucking work? Unbelievable. Hey, great work, man. Yeah, well done. I take it off. Um, nothing seems to change. You performed uh, unicorn magic. I, I can't believe it actually worked! Hey, oh my God. hey! He communed with the spirits! Nice. It was like an instruction manual. Yeah, we just had to go through the process of elimination. We just I mean, had to roll an investigation. I had to fail, and Gideon had to fail, and third time is the charm. There you go! Oh, 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 just the stream let out of this lake. Oh, the water ain't running anymore, huh? <laughs> Oh. It's just stagnant. <laughs> it's, uh, it's looking a little swampy in there. Oh, no. We gotta go through it. Oh, is that a layer of algae or is that a? Uh... <laughs> no, there is. Uh, this lake is clearly of a magical quality, not like the stream that you had oh. just been in. Um, lights dance and sparkle off of it. These beautiful. Um, Green lightning bugs skim the water and then fly up into the air. Um, it is magical and beautiful. This is a place unlike any you've seen. And the Feywild itself is, there have been places that were not nearly as appealing, but you have seen some of the most beautiful places you've ever seen, and they all pale in comparison to the Wayward Pond. Oh, thank goodness. Torbeck can't afford to get Giardia again. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Oh, I love Giardia on me hot dogs. Torbeck <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thinks that Torbeck and Gricko have very different definitions of Giardia. Isn't that like the pickled relish? It's a horrific disease. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't think so. <laughs> nah. Uncle Globo used to serve Giardia. <laughs> you, so you're walking into the water? I was going in. Yeah, I'll follow to the islands. You walk into I'll, the water, I'll, I'll and at, at first it is about, uh, it starts off about one foot deep, it eventually goes to two. And you find that it is, um, as you wade out further, it gets to be about five to six feet deep. Um, but it is crystal clear. You can see down to the bottom it is deceptive because from the shore it looked like you could just walk across with no problem. And you realize that as you continue to make your way out, it is going to get deeper and deeper. 
yet the clarity of the water never changes. You can see straight down to the bottom to all the coral fish um, swimming in their gyms. Um, all of the... <laughs> I fucking love the coral fish. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, mm. Yeah, bro. Mm. And that's how they. What if I work it with you? <laughs> 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 Only got one set left, bro. Okay. <laughs> you guys want to spot me? <laughs> uh, and they, you watch as all of the life inside of this. You see frogs of varying colors swimming through the water. You see um, little water bugs that skirt along the top. And again, the lightning bugs and dragonflies that dip down and drink and fly up into the air. Everything seems to be living peacefully and in harmony with each other uh, as you wade into this water. Frost, you immediately feel relief. Almost Nobody as if... Nobody look in the clear water. <laughs> 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 Almost as if there is something special about the water in this pool. What ailed you is gone. You feel refreshed. All of you feel refreshed. Ooh. As you feel the exhaustion. Yes. Leave oh. you. As you feel the benefits of a short rest oh. coming yeah. over you oh. all at oh. once. Oh, it does. <clears throat> short rest time, come on. Hey, fine, hit it's this. time to take a short rest. If you get me any short rest, take a short rest, it'll show you your uh, Perf. I don't, know, I don't need these all, actually. Ah, uh, they're all gone. <clears throat> Does it seem like Juniper can come with us? Or you imagine she, she could. Okay. It's, it's big enough. Um, the lake uh, is 250 feet of fresh still water. It's 30 feet deep at its deepest. And as you get closer, you realize that the <clears throat> the islet is 30 feet wide and about 40 feet long. Mm. It's small. Hoochie, remember the doggy paddle? Oh, you're doing great. She's <laughs> oh, that's so cute. You are easily able to cross. You eventually find yourselves on this little islet. <clears throat> what to do? Any unicorns around? I'm just looking for some unicorns. You hear the sound of scampering animals. You see a chipmunk tumble out from below a bush, uh, holding on to a large acorn as it attempts to open it with its mouth. It fumbles with it a little bit, um, looks at you, doesn't even look scared as it looks between all of you. And um, it's almost for a second like you see a soft smile on its face as it darts back into the, uh, into the bushes. And it's in this moment that you notice that all of the shadows have been cleansed from your bodies. Oh, oh my God. Thank goodness. <coughs> That's it. All right. Well, thank you, magical unicorns, if that was you. <laughs> Maybe it was magical water, but I like to think that it was the unicorns that helped us. It was yeah. the pool! Oh, it could have been the pool. It's a magic yeah. pool! And thank you, wayward pool. I feel refreshed. You feel like your, your tummy's all good? Yeah, I'm not sweating. I think, I think I'm all right. You look a lot better. Oh, uh, thank you much, you wayward pool. Mm. Me made Frosty can control his stool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> About 20 pounds lighter, but you're looking good. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right, well, we're, we're free. And we still want the gold pieces. <clears throat> well... I'm well, that you Juniper left the gold the pieces the back at Nib's cave. You never picked them back up. We put them in the chariot. We put them in the in the chariot. Oh, yeah. I don't remember you saying that. Well, we haven't brought them to the island. Though. <laughs> That's so at the very least, That's either they're back at Nib's cave or they're at the. In the they're chariot. in the chariot. Are the are the ghosts still with us? They're gone. No, no they're, they're cleansed. Not, they're cleansed. <gasps> no. 
All right. Oh, that stupid carnival of horrors is gone. Oh. Looks like we're all cleared up. <laughs> Thank you, pool. Thank you, unicorns, if it was you. We don't mean to steal credit. Here we go. Frosty. Uh, Gideon accidentally killed the clowns that haunted him. Hey, you purposefully killed that chipmunk, all right? Well, well you point fingers. And uh, I may have killed those guards, even if I was under the influence of strange fake curses. <laughs> oh, you, yeah. you definitely killed those guards. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and like 38 it's, other it's a, it's a question of intent, right? Mindfulness, but it doesn't matter. It, it, with uh, Torbeck, he was nothing like himself when he killed uh, Abdon Longscar. And you killed Pierre during uh, during the Iron Sh uh, Electrum Chef. Competition. No, that's a different Pierre. No, oh, man. that's a different Pierre. You killed a different Pierre in a different situation that I can't remember at this time. I didn't tell you all about it. But. Oh, I guess I did later, what? but. You when I uh, cut Pierre's throat in the swamp. Yes. He was tailing us on the way to the Witch Light Carnival. Oh, you did tell us that. Yeah. Kind of deserved it. Well, <sighs> I mean, I think so, but. Didn't he spike our drinks with, like, some, one of Mr. Guru's drugs that he peddles? He was just following orders, you know, and he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know what following I mean? the wrong guy. It's a really brutal way to kill swamp. somebody. All right. Can you just blow off his head with an elder's blast? Why do you gotta cut his throat? I mean, it's it's quick and silent. <clears throat> you bushwhacked him. Yeah, pretty much. <gasps> I guess what I'm driving at is that we don't know anything about your relationship with Uncle Glorbo or why he would be haunting you. Do you have any, uh, well, explanation? I, mean, I, I, I don't know what happened to Uncle Globo. He, uh, he had a gambling habit, as he called it. He owed a lot of money to a lot of really bad people. And he kind of went on the lamb, and I would go visit him and bring him some food. And, uh, I mean, there was one night I went to the pub, I had a few pints. Out a few more parts, and I get kind of I flap me gums when I, you know, when I uh, when I have a lot of parts, mm -hmm. as you know, and uh, you know I may have let slip where he was at, and some certain people may have overheard. I don't know. All oh, I know is that when I went no. to go deliver food, he was gone. I and I don't know what happened, Uncle Globo. Oh, brick. Oh. So I'm gonna take this as it was more of a nightmare given the fact that I don't know what happened. And so I'm not, still think that Uncle Globo is still alive out there somewhere. <laughs> and he wasn't <laughs> killed by the goblin mafiosos mm. that also frequented the pub that I, I was at. <laughs> Just hanging around with all the dead ghosts <laughs> and all those. It was a coincidence yeah. that they were all dead. Oh, one of the chances, <laughs> I'm interpreting it. That makes me feel a little better, Grigo. <coughs> so it, I believe it was caught. If if I am to interpret the uh, the intention of the curse, it could be more of. I mean, if he if he did, uh, you know, if they if they did find him and you know whack him, so to speak. And I'll reach into my pack and I'll find like the fucking Chuck E. Cheese hat. And I'll put it over my. I'm glad you're doing for fucking wiggle log. If Uncle Globo is sleeping with the leeches, that's what they say at the swamp. Mm. Not sleeping with the, with the Sleeping with the leeches. Uh, uh, maybe rest in peace. It may be for of a metaphorical doom. Thank you, Grigo. That makes me feel much better. A wise man once told me uh, that's what we call mental gymnastics. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps so. And perhaps we're all doing our own form of mental gymnastics I in guess some it's ways. True that what they say: loose lips sink ships and kill your uncle. Also, <laughs> 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 people don't forget. Yeah. Gosh. I'm just glad we didn't have to fight any shit elementals in the fucking <laughs> God of the Pond on the island. As you oh, say that, from the one I'm 
<laughs> All it turns into Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm music I'm starts playing. The great yeah. mighty oh. poo. And we have an amazing boss fight with sweet corn. <laughs> Bring me some <clears throat> sweet corn. Well, um... And I propose we explore this island and see what uh, what lies here. Perhaps um, it's the only thing shrouded on it's in so- mist, and the only thing that you can see outside of the foliage is a large metal brazier. Yeah, we can see that brazier uh, filled to the brim with coal. Oh, oh, with what? Oh. <laughs> with what? It's in the name, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I like to think that every time you spit in your hands, it's like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, well, it's a shame to come all this way and not set old coal on fire. Let's go. I mean, are we cool with that? Or we think this is going to summon a shit elemental? Yes, as long as no one pronounces it brazier, I think we're all set. <laughs> uh-huh. Light her up, kid. <laughs> Light her up. <laughs> uh, 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 I knew it was coming. It was so me. <laughs> Uh, I punch bum, into bum, the bum, uh, bum, bra- bum, brazier, uh, the brazier, brazier, the brazier, the, the, and, uh, the brazier, the brazier, <laughs> and uh, with my classic brazier technique, uh, and I ignite the coals within, as I've done a thousand times, and I'll do a thousand more. <laughs> the pixie who's wearing uh, the brazier screams out pain as you punch her in the chest. Ah, she screams out in enjoyment. <laughs> I promise you. I've heard it before. Um, as the brazier lies cold, <laughs> speaking from experience, yeah. the no. pixie ignites and shrivels into <laughs> ash. Honey, that's pleasure. <clears throat> no, uh, you, you channel the innate fire within you as you punch into this brazier. And as your fists um, connect with the coal, you watch as the kernel of flame within them ignites and they begin to glow and pulse with the beginnings of flame until eventually they catch and a fire erupts and roars out of this. You watch as immediately the mists begin to part and standing on the very edge of the lake is a single white horse shining in the light. Her body is shimmering with iridescence, a single gleaming horn on her brow. She stands perfectly still, silently, observing you, but not moving, just watching. Oh my God. She's beautiful. Does she look like she might be a unicorn missing a horn? She has a horn. She has a horn. Oh. Mm-hmm. You said she was a horse. No. And with a horn. With you reveal a, a white poetic. horse with a single gleaming horn on her brow. Oh. That's how she is described. Look at it. You think that's, uh, that's Lorna or whatever? The king say like unicorn Lorna was over here no, doing all was, tricks and whatever. It was something like that. But if we don't know her name, we should be careful. <laughs> Does anyone catch her name? It was something <laughs> like Lorna. <laughs> that's what Torbeck. It's not heard. Lorna. That's the horrible fucking hat. No, I didn't. Torbeck didn't say Lorna. Torbeck said Lorna. Listen, I got a very strong recollection of things. Not even in the you know kind of. Like sometimes I'm correct way. It's probably just Lorna. Oh. Hmm. Mm. Grammya, if you wanted to approach and talk, I think that you're the one who's best equipped for the job. But don't be upset if the unicorn runs off very quickly. I understand they don't like to stick around and if you uh, aren't a virgin. <laughs> Why don't you go up to her? <laughs> Frosty! You've been preparing your whole you, life for this. What are you trying to say? Don't take this from me. <laughs> <laughs> I start to slowly approach. There it is. There it is. It's all right. It's all right. You oh, begin. Geez, what does Gid do? I like stick my hand out. Like, it's okay. It's okay. You begin to move forward, um, doing your best to move slowly and to make non-threatening gestures, and you keep your voice soft. She does not move even a fraction. You've never seen a creature stand so still, 
so majestic, so beautiful. And as you get to about 50 feet from this creature, immediately you hear in your mind, why have you come to this place? Are you here to torment me like the rest? Are you here to point and laugh at me? For I am the last. I am the only one left. My love was taken from me and is gone. What do you want with me? And that is where we'll end the session. Oh, no! <laughs>